So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually make this fan work. We're going to use the gaze component and the selection play button for it. And you can see once I hit the play button, it starts rotating. And if I hit the stop button again, you can see it slowly fading out and finally stops. And this is a very simple example, but it shows some of our concepts with the component based approach. So let's dive right in. First of all, you need to have two meshes. One of them is the outer part and the other one is the one actually turning. So we use both of them. I just went in and split them in Maya. So this is the one and this is the spinning part. And let's create a new blueprint. Do it right here. First of all, let's get our static meshes in there. So I select them in there. Let's select both of them and add them in here. So this way they are both already named correctly. Let's reparent them and move them in the center. So the thing I'm going to use to actually rotate this, there are different approaches you can take there, but I'm going to use the rotating movement from Unreal. And by default, if I would hit simulate now, you can see everything is turning. As we don't want that, let's select the movement and uncheck auto register updated components. This way we are going to tell the rotating movement on what to actually rotate. And let's do it in the begin play. Select our rotating movement. Set updated component. And we want to only rotate the blades. So let's take them in there. We want to actually rotate them this way. So we want the Y axis. So let's configure it. Nothing here. And let's start with something like 100. Then hit compile. So this is our newly created here and if I hit the simulate button, you can see the blades are returning. So this is already working fine. Let's get some interaction in there. First of all, we want to have the component gaze view. So let's add this here. And the type we want to use here is the selection button. And we want the selection button to be the play button. And hit compile. And in order for the play button to work, we need the interface active. So let's add this here. and hit compile. Now we have a function here called interface is active. Let's open it up. And we want to use a variable for that because we're changing this pool. So let's promote it to a variable and call it active. Hit compile. And at the beginning, we want to rotate the blades. So they should rotate from the beginning. So let's set this to true. 
and to actually change the speed of the rotating movement we can set the rotation rate and let's break this up and for the plates we have seen that we want the y rotation so we are going to change this here and we are going to do it with the interface toggle active and for the toggle functionality because we want to set it on and off let's first of all use the function is active and if it's active let's revert our bool here so let's do the opposite if it's not active set it active so with this we are basically inverting the active here and depending on if it's active or not if it's not active we want to set the rotation to zero and if it's active we want to set the rotation to something like 100 so something like this here let's compile so you can see it's already turning it's the right button and if i hit it you can see it's immediately stopping and if i play again it's starting so this is already working but we want to improve that a little further so let's open up the viewport first of all i want to have the gaze component so the selection button to be in the center of the fan so something like here this way the button is not appearing here on the left corner but in the middle and the last thing i want to change is actually go in there and change the interpolation speed not instant but to have a smooth transition and for that i'm going to use a timeline we can remove this and also this we open up the timeline and add a new float component this is our rotation speed and let's start off with zero zero so at the beginning there should be no rotation at all and after five seconds i want to have my 150 speed in there and i put this value into my rotation y axis connect the update function and set the true so basically if this is active if this is true i want to play the timeline and if it's false i want to reverse it this way i'm able to play it for like one second and then stop and it would reverse so you have a very nice transition so one last thing to change here we want the fan to spin at the beginning and currently it does spin but that's because we added the value in here so let's set this to zero 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 and we want after we updated the component we actually want to play from the beginning so it starts slowly spinning and you can see at the beginning it's not turning around but then it starts slowly to speed up 
and now everything is working the way it should. So we can go in there. We have our icon at the right, right position. We can press it, it stops. And press it again, it starts. And even if I hit it while it's speeding up, everything is working the way it should. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.